Hello everyone! Welcome sa ating YouTube channel and for today, nandito tayo sa Baguio Botanical Garden kasi may bago silang nilagay na attraction dito sa loob mismo and yun nga yung Kokidama Forest and that's really something na iti-check natin today and by the way, sa mga pupunta dito, the entrance fee is na 100 pesos and hindi na siya 10 pesos. So, ito nga siya, it's the... Kokedama Forest and as you can see here there's a lot of plants na nakabalot dito nga sa moss ball na ganito and I'm actually surprised nung una ko siyang nakita kasi I'm only thinking na yung Kokedama is for succulents but then right now I realize na kahit na anong plant pala pwedeng gawin itong Kokedama na style of growing yung mga plants and right here sa pinaka center they have this parang tarpaulin about what kokidama is all about so let's try to check it nakalagay nga dito na it is a um, moss ball and it is a more natural way to display our plants and this handcrafted art is a japanese tradition that emerged over 500 years ago with the intention to recreate a natural habitat that promoted health and relaxation so no plastic or pots just nature by itself and dito nga sa kabilang side there is a picture of what is inside that moss so we have the plant then we have the moss or the cocoa fiber we have the roots and the special soil mix and i actually made a succulent kokedama before and if you haven't watched that one yet and you're interested in making one i'll just comment the link below so you can just check that out so dito sa pinakababa we have different ornamental plants some are actually small but at the same time may mga malalaki ding kokedama balls na nandito sa ngayon and this one is probably one of the biggest so mas malaki pa siya sa basketball ball ayan and right here on the table we have more kokedama displays and actually maganda namang tingnan talaga ang kokedama it's just that it's very kumbaga time consuming na gawin. So, I tried it myself before and hindi nga siya ganun ka daling gawin. It's also a bit messy na gawin. Kaya, I think I only made about 3 succulent kokidamas at home. But, if you're also interested, here are some of the examples na pwede ninyong gawin. And syempre, if you are not familiar with that blue stain sa leaves ng ating mga plants, that's actually a contact fungicide. And so if you don't know where to buy it, just simply check our Shopee and Lazada link kasi meron tayong binibenta ganyan. And speaking of binibenta, ito mga nandito palang mga kokidamas are actually for sale. So for example, this one, it's being sold for 680 Peso. So, I think while going around here kanina, napansin ko na talaga na may mga price tags yung mga plants na naka-display dito. And so, I'm not really sure if itong Kokedama Forest is actually a permanent or a temporary setup lang dito sa Botanical Garden. But if you're gonna be visiting soon, then you would surely appreciate itong mga iba't ibang plants na naka-Kokedama. And dito sa table na to, mostly succulents ang naka-display. So this one is a pencil cactus. So greenish lang siya pag hindi stress. Pero look at this, talagang nag-color reddish siya pag fully stressed. So sa ngayon sa Baguio kasi medyo malamig ang panahon, especially at night. Then in the morning, talagang sunny. Naka-full sun silang lahat. And yung mga succulents na nandito ay 
medyo basa. Ayan, makikita ninyo kasi it's been raining here in the afternoon sa Baguio City. So, that one is being sold for 150 pesos. Ayan, so those are just common succulents. But, considering na they are kokidama, so yung effort rin talaga sa paggawa ng kokidama or moss balls, so probably the price is just right. Pero if you think na it's expensive, then you can actually make your own at home and so you can really see kung bakit medyo pricey siya as compared to yung mga potted na mga succulents lang. So dito sa likod we have more succulents but these are more on parang mga jade and doon sa likod na part are more ornamental plants. And so that's all of the displays dito sa kanilang Kokidama Forest. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent PH.